Manchester United will have to fork out an estimated £17.5 million if they are to sack Eric Ten Hag, according to reports. But had Old Trafford Chiefs decided to part ways with Ten Hag in the summer, instead of offering him a contract extension, the fee would have been almost half the amount. The Dutchman's job appears under no immediate pressure despite a horror start to the season. It is understood that the under-fire Dutchman will be given the next two games, against Porto in the Europa League and Aston Villa in the Premier League, to save his job. But with fans airing their displeasure following Sunday's humiliating loss at home to Tottenham Hotspur and no sign of the team's performances improving, bookmakers have shortened his odds to money on in the market to be first Premier League boss sacked. And should United decide to part ways with Ten Hag in the near future, Goal claim that the compensation package will be about £17.5 million compared to around £10 million had the former Ajax boss departed in June. United, meanwhile, have made about 250 off-field staff redundant in recent months for a saving of about £35 million. After the Spurs lost Ten Hag insisted he had no fear of being fired following a performance that former defender turned pundit Gary Neville described as, disgusting. And the head coach insisted that he just needs more time for everything to click. No, I'm not thinking about this, said Ten Hag. We are all on one page or in one boat together. The ownership, the staff, the players as well. So I don't have that concern, the sack. We all made togetherness in this decision to stay together, as an ownership and as a leadership group. In the summer we also made the decision, from a clear review, on what we have to improve and how we want to construct a squad. But we knew it would take some time, with how the window went and the fact some players came in late, like Manuel Ugarte. We also have to make some improvement in organization, we have had some injuries and we need some time. United travelled to Porto on Thursday for their second Europa League game of the campaign having drawn 1-1 at home to Twente last week. They then travelled to Champions League side Aston Villa on Sunday afternoon in search of a first league win in three. United currently sit 12th in the table with a goal difference of minus three.